on, on, in the wake of the indictments of John Ash and Ang Lap Sang, there was the audit created. Mm -hmm. It seemed to be an attempt by the UN to find out interactions mm -hmm. with entities related to Ang Lap Sang or, or, you know, and, and basically since then I've found there's the, that the Secretary General has engaged with uh, a new group called Global Governance for United Nations Sustainable Development Goals, which is very much connected with uh, the same individuals that were involved in South South News, in Ang Lap Sang's foundations. These involvements are as recent as March 2016. So I'm wondering, what is the screening process that's taking place? Is, is the audit, are you simply looking at the names that were mentioned in the, in the indictment, or is there some attempt? It seems to some that there's basically a continuation of the same process under I'm other not, names. Uh, the audit uh, looked at the names, obviously, that were mentioned uh, in the indictment that were mentioned in the press. I'm not aware of the group uh, that you mentioned. So I I have a, there's a uh, picture of the Secretary I, I, General. I, 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 I'm of their just meeting. saying, I'm not aware. Uh, there are a lot of things I'm not aware of, and I'm sure. not aware of this particular group that you raise. I'm happy to uh, to look into. But I guess my question would be: Given obviously there's due process, so the two individuals who have not yet who have not pled guilty, John Ash and Englap Singh, are one thing. But four people have pleaded guilty, I think and you is, think that the UN would there is, search there is, its database uh, we would, for? Uh, we would again. I'm not going to comment on this particular case. I'm not aware of it, but obviously. Uh, we would uh, encourage uh, all parts of the United Nations to do as deep a due diligence as possible when partnering. I'll, c I'll come one back last, to you. One uh, last no, question. I'll, I'll, come, okay. I'll, I'll come back to you.